Gaming on Linux has come a far way. Only a few years ago, you were only able to play certain video games through Wine. And even that was a mess most of the time. But when Valve started to shift their focus from Windows over to Linux and developed their first version of SteamOS, native Linux ports and their Proton translation layer began to make Linux a viable option for Steam games. Yeah, you heard me right. Steam games. But what about everything else? Ubisoft Connect, Origin and the Epic Games Launcher are just some examples that don't feature a native Linux version yet. But wait, there's a solution. Lutris. Or is it Lutris? With the release of the Steam Deck, Valve really started to shake things up in the Linux gaming space. As you know, in order to play Windows games on the Linux system, you need to translate Windows specific features to something that Linux understands. OpenGL and Vulkan for example are often being used as a substitute for DirectX. Now, Steam's Proton layer does exactly that. It catches the requests that address a Windows specific library, translates them and sends it to the substitute API. But Proton is not unique in what it does. In fact, it's not even original. It consists of several different tools that have been or still are being developed right now. Wine, DXVK, Wikid3D, as well as some media decoders are just some of them. While Steam has Proton, Lutris has its own translation layer that basically consists of the same tools. So it is better, right? I'll have to answer this with a yes and a no. Lutris uses newer versions of the translation tools. This could in fact help improve performance and game compatibility. But on the other hand, it's not as tested as Proton, so... Eh. But hey, that's not even a problem. Proton is open source as well. And if you really want to use it, you can simply download and install it. Even newer releases then on Steam. So now we've talked about translation layers and stuff, but what is Lutris anyway? You can think of Lutris as one central application that hosts all your games. With the latest version 5.10, it even has some of the game launchers, also called runners, integrated into its interface. Yeah sure, you can also install these launchers inside Steam by adding them as a non-Steam game. But why do that if there's an application that makes everything easier? Lutris, in contrast to Steam, offers a big variety of settings right out of the box that can help you tune a specific game or application to increase performance. These are advanced steps though, and I wouldn't recommend messing with them if you don't know what you're doing. Don't worry, we're going to cover some of them later in the video. So how does Lutris work? As I mentioned before, with the latest release, you have more launchers that come right in the application, and if the launcher you need is not here, you can simply click on this little plus icon, go to search the Lutris website for installers, enter a game title or the launcher, and select the right edition if necessary. Installing games that way can also be very useful if they aren't fully compatible yet, since this method can come with custom scripts that might fix that. By the way, if you don't like the search functionality inside the application, you can always add games on the website to your account and use it right inside the application. Makes everything a bit easier. Once you install the launcher, you can simply click on play and it should work just fine. If not, then there are several different ways on how you can fix that and even improve performance along the way. Just select the game you want to tune, click on the arrow key besides play and select configure. In here you can change images, the game path and even which runner should be used. The next step might be important if a game does not launch with Lutris. I for example had to change my Far Cry 5 game ID in order to launch it without opening the Ubisoft Connect launcher. If you are unsure what the game ID is, you just need to start the launcher which contains the game you want to make a desktop shortcut. Then select the game and create a desktop shortcut like you would on Windows. Then you click on this icon in the right top corner, go into Preferences, Global Options and click on Browse. Now you're in a folder that contains all of your games or applications you've installed directly with Lutris. Select a launcher that contains the game which you are looking for Go to Drive C, Users, select your name, Desktop and open the shortcut file with a text editor. Copy the ID and paste it here. Now this step is not necessary most of the time, but if you run into a problem, here you go. The third tab is the most interesting one, but also one that you should tweak with caution and only if you know what you're doing. I recommend to avoid touching these settings unless you run into issues that can only be fixed here. The most obvious and easiest settings are of course the Wine Edition, as well as disabling or enabling DXVK, bkd 3 d as well as E-Sync and F-Sync. F-Sync is the best for performance, however, it does not work with every kernel and you might need to patch it. 
I wouldn't recommend turning off eSync since this would probably result in the performance loss. The fourth and final tab just contains some paths and settings that might or might not help with game compatibility. But what you should look out for is that the feral game mode option is checked. This at least in theory, provides several different optimization measures that can help improve game performance and even decrease latencies and stuff. But by default, you don't really need to mess with any of these settings. There is nothing in here that will give you a performance miracle. I recommend to do your research and only apply some settings if that fixes a game. Lutris also allows you to create shortcuts, set in your application menu, desktop or even inside Steam. Be aware that depending on your desktop environment, this could take several seconds or even minutes to apply. So be patient. The Create Steam shortcut option in particular requires a restart of Steam in order for the games to show up in your library. Okay, so Lutris is awesome and everything, right? But there are a few things that you need to be cautious of. For example, when I installed Ubisoft Connect, Lutris automatically installed some other applications with it and made an entry in the applications menu. Why? Also, this automatically generated version of Ubisoft Connect is not the right launcher. It does work. However, it changes the wine directory and could result in a massive performance drop. I would recommend you to delete those things so that you don't accidentally click on them. You can do so by opening your file manager, go to your home directory, enable hidden folders, click on .local, applications, and delete the links that you don't need. I don't know exactly why these shortcuts even happen. My guess would be that Wine, which comes with Lutris, automatically detects these applications and thinks, yeah, I'm going to make a shortcut for that. But hey, whenever you are watching this video, this might have already been resolved. So that was Lutris, and besides Steam, it is the most easiest way to play games on Linux. At least if you factor in help pages as well. With the success of the Steam Deck, we could potentially see some of the game launchers even come to Linux natively. But until then, Lutris is the number one choice to install them. And that's where I'll leave it. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and a sub. Thanks. Make also sure to click on this video right here. You won't regret it. And all that's left to say now is, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.